So in this third video, I'll go over the plugins options. The very first options that you're presented with are the plugins settings. First thing you need to consider is, will you be creating a new project from the plugin? In that case, to give it a, a name, for example. Um, and you can create a localized project straight from the plugin if you so wish uh, to do. Alternatively, and in most use cases, you'll be connecting to a, an ongoing uh, localization project. So once you press on this, you see a list of view of all the project names to which you have been invited and localized. I'll select the design stage localization, the project I set up in video one for this de uh, demonstration purposes. And second step is selecting the Figma design language. So you need to tell the plugin, what is the language of my design? Uh, best practice is to keep it to English um, for translation uh, purposes. And my design is in English, so I can keep it right here. If I have to switch, then that would be perfectly fine. I am first presented with the target languages or all the languages that are part of my project in Localize itself. I'll stick to English here. Second step is to uh, consider what for what platform is your product design. Um, in my use case, it's clearly a mobile design, so I'll be selecting iOS and Android. Uh, final step, very important, select a key naming convention. Uh, so once you are creating new keys from your design in Localize, we do offer an out-of-the-box uh, key naming generator with different key naming conventions. Um, best practice to go over which one suits you best with your uh, developers and, and product team. And, and this will offer you some consistency when moving forward. Alternatively, if none of these key naming uh, conventions are applicable to your use case, you can always select do not generate the name and this will allow you to customize your key, uh, key names individually. I'll stick to uh, simple key naming convention right here and press finish setup. Once I've done that, I'm presented with the actual um, options. So the first one is the list of view. So the moment I'll have um, English values, German and Russian values in my project, I can simply press on these and switch uh, my design uh, language. So I'll be pulling the translations into my design and updating it for me. Um, then I'm presented with push all. The logic here is very simple. Your design is the source of truth, and you need to push uh, these strings into localize. Alternatively, pull all. Uh, this is the exact opposite. So localize is your source of truth, and you want wish to update your design with the values in localize. Finally, you have duplicate uh, functionality right here, which we'll be going over uh, shortly in a separate video, which will create a separate duplicate page uh, or a copy of your design, either with key names or in the target language. Uh, the key names ones, as we'll be explaining shortly, is excellent for sharing with your uh, developers. Um, the target languages is perfect for uh, screenshot generation if you need to update target, uh, target market um, screenshots in the app stores. You can do that with a press of a button or if you need to share it with your marketing team in local local countries or local subject matter experts for in-context review of the translations, that's just excellent. And if you need to change you know, the settings, you can always just press on this cogwheel right here and you'll be taken back to the initial page. If you need to select a different key naming convention or would like to change the, the platforms, that's perfectly fine, you can do it after the fact. Um, and finally, a little help page if you had any pending questions. 